Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Astro video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use custom layouts in Astra. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Astra theme and Astra Pro plugin on this WordPress website. In order to use custom layouts, you need to install Astra Pro plugin. So this is a feature of Astra Pro plugin. So on this website, I have Astra Pro plugin installed and you will see all these modules are available only in the Astra Pro plugin. So we will see what are the options available in the custom layouts and what kind of custom layouts you can create using Astra Pro plugin. So Make sure that here you have the custom layouts enabled if you want to learn more about custom layouts you will see the documentation here if you open it you will see all the documentation about custom layouts now in the left hand panel you will see astra and under astra you will see custom layouts you can click on custom layouts here or you can click on settings under custom layouts here so i'm going to click on custom layouts and these are the options header footer hooks, 404, page content, and custom templates. So these are the options available in the custom layouts. You can create custom header and footer using the custom layouts. If you want to show different header or footer on specific pages, then you can create multiple headers and footers using custom layouts. If you want to create header or footer for the entire website, you can use the customize option instead of using custom layouts let me show you here under astra you will see customize open it and here you will see header builder if i click on it you will see the settings for the header builder so this is the header site logo navigation menu and card i have already published videos on how to customize the header and the footer in astra theme if i go back you will see footer builder so using footer builder you can customize the footer for the entire website I have also published videos on how to customize the blog page, single page or WooCommerce product page, shop page in the Astra theme. I'll give you the links to all those videos in the description box. Now this header and the footer is for the entire website. As I said earlier, if you want to create multiple headers and footers for specific pages or posts, you can use custom layouts. So let's try creating a header here. Click on add new. When you click on add new for the custom layouts, it will ask what type of custom layouts you want to create. Header, footer, 404 page, hooks, inside post or page and custom templates. So click on header. So we are going to create a custom header. Name it as custom header one. Here at the top, you will see the Astro icon. You can click on it. If you want to change the layout instead of header, you want to select footer, you can select from here. Below that you will see sticky setting. You want to make it sticky. You can enable it and it will be sticky at the top. Enable shrink effect. It will shrink when you scroll down. Stick on desktop or mobile or desktop plus mobile. So I'm going to select only desktop. It will be sticky only on the desktop. Next option is display and user condition. If you want to display it on the entire website, you can use entire website. Otherwise, you can specify the pages where you want to show this custom header. Let's use the front page. So it will be shown on the front page. Do not display. If you want to exclude the pages, you can select from here. Display for users, all logged in or logged out. So I'm going to select all users. All right, so we have added the display condition. Device visibility, desktop, tablet, mobile. If you want to disable it on mobile, you can disable it from here day and time condition if you want to schedule this custom header you can select the you can enable the time event and from here you can select the date the start date and the end date all right now let's click on publish now on this website i'm using elementor page builder to customize the pages if you have the default gutenberg you can start creating the custom header using the gutenberg i'm using Elementor so I'll click on edit with Elementor now here let me show you the current header of this website so this is the current header for the entire website now we are going to create a new header for the home page or the front page so from here you can select the section so using Elementor I'm going to create a header so this is not actually the tutorial for the Elementor or the header builder I just want to show you how does this work so I'm going to select full width and I'm going to customize the header here. Let's add 
background color so this is a quick header that i have created click update let's go to the website we are on the shop page let's go to home page and on the home page you will see that the newly created header is applied if i go to any other page the default header will be shown this is the default header so what we have done we have created a custom header which will be shown only on the front page so this is how you can create a custom header using the custom layout let's exit from here let's go back to dashboard all right so this is a custom header let me delete this one i'm not going to use it all right let's go back let's go back to home page all right and we are back to the normal header for the home page now let's go to add new again for the custom layouts now the same thing will be applied for the footer if you want to create multiple footers you can use the custom layout so i'm not going to work on the footer this is exactly similar to what we have created for the header the next option is a 404 page so if i go to the website and if i try to open a page which is not available on this website it will show the 404 page so this is the current layout of the 404 page we are going to create a new layout so let's go to astra here and you will see 404 page layout is selected 404 page display settings disable primary header so this is the primary header if you do not want it you can disable this one if you do not want to show the footer you can enable this option and it will not show the footer on the 404 page so as of now i'm going to disable all these options display and user condition if you want to show it for logged in user or logged out user or you can show it for all the users i am going to select all next option is device visibility if you want to disable it on desktop tablet or mobile you can disable it from here if you want to schedule you can use the time event and you can assign the start date and the end date for this particular 404 page layout so i'm going to disable it all right now let's name it as 404 page number one click publish and again i'm going to use edit with elementor all right now if i go to templates you will see the templates here if you are using elementor pro plugin you can use the templates which are available for the pro plugin if i search for 404 you will see all these templates are available in the Elementor Pro plugin or you can create one from the scratch. So I'm going to create it from the scratch. Let's use one of the section. Let's add some padding. Let's update it. I have created a simple 404 page here. All right now let's go to a page and refresh it. This page is not available on this website and you can see that a newly created 404 page layout is showing up. So this is how you can customize the 404 page layout using custom layouts. Let's go back. Let's exit from here. And let's go back to dashboard. All right, I'm going to delete this one and create a new one. Click on add new. Now we will create hooks let's go to hooks and name it as hooks number one here click on astro icon and you will see the layout is selected as hooks placement where do you want to show these hooks now you will see different options are available to show the custom hooks if you want to show it inside head you will see before html head top head bottom or wp head below that we have header section the header section is nothing but this section Let's go back to home page here. If you want to put it in the header section, you will see these options are available. Body top, before header, masthead top. So all these options are available. Below that we have content section. So this is the entire content section. If you want to show it inside the content, you will see this option here. And the last option will be comment, sidebar or footer. If you are using WooCommerce, you will see the WooCommerce options also. So these hooks you can place anywhere on the page. 
if it is WooCommerce, you can put it on the WooCommerce shop page or WooCommerce product page. So let's see, I'm going to use a hook and I'm going to put it just after the header and below the container. Let's see how does this work. Now, if you are creating multiple hooks, then you can set the priority for each hook. Now, this is the spacing. If you want to add spacing at the top or bottom before the hook and after the hook, you can add the spacing. I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's go to display and user conditions. This is similar to what we have seen in the header section. I'm going to use this hook for the entire website. If you want to show this hook on singular pages, you can select the specific page. If you want to show the hook on the blog post, then you can select post or you can select products. So I'm going to select entire website. Below that you will see do not display. This is to exclude where you do not want to show. Display for users, all users. Next is device visibility and schedule. If you want to schedule it, you can enable the schedule. Let me change the placement. I'm going to select body top, click update and click on edit with Elementor. All right, now let's click on the template. Let's see if we can have a ready template here. Let's search for call to action. All right, so I can use one of these templates here. Let's try this one. All right, so this is what I can see. I'm going to delete some sections here. Now you can create the template manually. I'm just trying to use one of the ready template from here. Let's update it. Now let's go to the website. Let me go to the top, refresh it. And you will see the custom hook is applied just above the header section. Here we can use another condition. Let's go back here and let's exit from here. Now I want to show this call to action only for the logged out users. If someone is already logged into your website, I don't want to show this call to action to the logged in users. So let's go back to Astro icon here and go to display and user conditions. Now here I'm going to select logged out users. So this hook will be shown only to the logged out users. Update it. Now here currently I'm logged into the website. Let me refresh it. And you will see that the hook is not there. Now let me open the same website in another browser which where I'm not logged in. So here I'm going to open the website and I'm not logged into this website on this browser. And you can see that the newly added webhook is showing at the top of the header. This is how you can use the display and user conditions. So let's go back. Go back to dashboard. Let's delete this one. And let's click on add new. Next option is inside post or page. Let's select this one. Name it as inside page number one. Whatever name you want to assign for these custom layouts, you can assign names. Let's go to Astro icon. This is the layout location settings. Where do you want to show this? You will see the option location on post or page after certain number of blocks before certain number of heading blocks. All right. So let's select this one and change the number to let's say five. So after five blocks on the page or the post, it is going to show this new custom layout. Display user, display and user conditions. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to use it on the entire website. Let's publish it. And let's edit with Elementor. Let's go to templates and I'm going to use one of the templates, one of the blocks from here. Let's use call to action again and this time use this one. You can create your custom layouts manually using the default Gutenberg editor or if you are using Elementor or Beaver Builder, you can use the page builder to create your own custom layouts. Whatever you want to show in that custom layout, you can create manually. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the pre-designed templates. Click update. Let's refresh it. And let's see if you can see this newly created custom layout. All right, so I do not see anything here. Let's go to one of the archive. Let's go to blog and go to one of the blog posts here. 
All right, so you can see that we have this newly created custom layout on one of the blog posts. So it is showing this layout after five blocks on the blog post. If I change the settings, let's go back here. Go to Astro icon and location settings. Let me make it six, update it. Let's go back, refresh it. So you will see that it is showing the custom layout after six blocks. Now let's go back and let's see what is the other option before certain number of heading blocks. So I'm going to make it five heading blocks, update it, refresh it. All right, so here, one, two, three, four, five. So after five heading blocks, it is going to show this custom layout. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to dashboard again. Delete this one. Click on add new. Let's select the last option that is custom template. Select a template. Now you will see a template where you want to show this custom layout. It will be either on the single or it will be on archives such as block page. So I'm going to select archive and I'm going to name it as custom archive one. So this is the name of this template. Let's go to Astro icon archive which archive we have selected the template so here the layout is custom template and the template type will be archive now right now you will see dynamic content preview so this will show the dynamic content all right display and user conditions i'm going to select entire website and all for the all users publish it click on edit with elementor and again, I'm going to use one of the pre-designed block. Let's try this one. I'm going to change the background color so that it will be visible. Update it. Let's go back, refresh it. All right, so you will see that instead of the blog post it is showing only the custom layout that we have created. Let's go back to blog. So it is showing on the blog also. All right, let's go back. And let's try changing the condition here. We'll do Astro icon. And let's close this one. Let's use single, update it. Let's go back to block page, refresh it. All right, so it's not making a, so it's not making any changes here. If I go to home page, you will see that this is applied on the home page also. So this template is applied to the entire website, I guess. So instead of entire website, I'm going to select all post, return to post, update it. Let's go back to page, home page. All right, so now the home page is visible. All the pages are visible. Let's go back to blog. Blog page is also visible. If I go to single blog post, this template is applied to the single blog post because we have selected the display and user condition as all post. So if you want to create multiple headers and footers, you can use the custom layouts. And if you want to create hooks for four pages, you can definitely try using custom layouts in Astra theme. So this is how you can use custom layouts in Astra. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.